Over the past several years, the Linux ecosystem has transformed from a niche environment for enthusiasts into a robust, user-friendly alternative to proprietary operating systems. Today's landscape offers an unprecedented variety of distributions tailored to every use case, strengthened security and privacy features, and a thriving community dedicated to open source development. Troubleshooting has become more straightforward with comprehensive logging and terminal-based tools, empowering users to diagnose and fix issues quickly. Extensive customization options, from choosing different desktop environments to tweaking system settings, allow users to create an experience that aligns with their workflow. Driver support has dramatically improved thanks to recent kernel releases, ensuring most hardware works out of the box. Finally, enhanced application and game compatibility, driven by projects like Proton and Valve's investment in Linux gaming, make it possible to run mainstream titles without significant performance penalties. Collectively, these advancements make now an ideal time to switch to Linux or recommend it to others. 1. Tons of distributions to choose from 1.1. Explosion of options The modern Linux landscape encompasses hundreds of distributions, distros, each catering to varied preferences, ranging from user-friendly, mainstream releases, to highly specialized builds for niche tasks. Established general-purpose distros like Fedora, Linux Mint, and Debian continue to dominate thanks to their stability, large repositories, and vibrant communities, making them excellent daily drivers for newcomers and veterans alike. 1.2. Bleeding Edge and Niche For those who crave the latest software, rolling release distributions such as Arch Linux and OpenSUSE Tumbleweed offer continuous updates so users can access cutting-edge packages without waiting for point releases. Meanwhile, distros targeting specific domains, like the lightweight, performance-focused Diet Pi or the security-oriented Kali Linux, demonstrate the depth of specialization available in 2025. 1.3 LiveOS functionality. Most mainstream and many niche distros support Live Mode, allowing users to boot from USB or DVD and test the environment before installing. This functionality is particularly valuable for newcomers as it removes the risk of disrupting an existing system and offers a hands-on preview of features, performance, and hardware compatibility. 2. Better security and privacy. 2.1 Secure User Privilege Model Linux's foundational security model enforces strict user and root privileges. By design, regular user accounts cannot modify critical system files or services without explicit elevation, e.g. using sudo, reducing the risk of accidental or malicious system-wide changes. As a result, the attack surface for malware is significantly smaller compared to traditional, monolithic OS designs. 2.2 Mandatory Access Controls Most major distributions ship with SE Linux, Security Enhanced Linux, or App Armor out of the box, offering mandatory access control policies that confine applications to the least privileges required. These modules can prevent entire classes of exploits, such as unauthorized file access or privilege escalation, by enforcing fine-grained rules on process behavior. 2.3 Transparent Development and Auditing Unlike closed-source operating systems, Linux's open-source nature allows security experts and the community at large to audit, patch, and harden the kernel and user space components. This transparency has led to faster discovery and remediation of vulnerabilities. Moreover, the decentralized maintenance model means distributions often issue security advisories within hours of public disclosure, minimizing exposure windows. 2.4 Privacy by default Most Linux distributions do not collect user data, display targeted advertisements, or implement telemetry by default. Popular distros such as Ubuntu and Fedora explicitly state in their privacy policies that they do not track user behavior. This contrasts sharply with proprietary alternatives that frequently harvest usage metrics. The result is an environment where users retain full control over their data and can take additional steps, like using open-source VPNs 
or encrypted communication tools to further enhance privacy. Third, easier troubleshooting, 3.1 centralized, plain text logs. Troubleshooting on Linux is largely log-driven. System logs, e.g. slash varlog sizelog or slash varlog messages, aggregate kernel, application, and service messages in plain text, which administrators can quickly parse using standard command line utilities like grep, tail, and journal ctl. 3.2 Interactive Command Line Tools Commands such as DMESJ, uh, LS Block, uh, System CTL Status, and Journal CTL, X, provide immediate, actionable insights into system state and running services. Unlike Windows, where troubleshooting often involves navigating nested GUIs or third-party repair tools, Linux allows direct querying of the kernel and service manager. This terminal-centric approach empowers users to isolate and resolve issues quickly, especially when logs contain detailed error messages and stack traces. 3.3 Comprehensive Documentation and Community Support Virtually every error message on Linux can be searched online. The extensive documentation, in the form of man pages, man, official distro wikis, e.g. the Arch Wiki, and community forums such as Stack Exchange and relevant subreddits, means solutions are often just a few keystrokes away. When combined with the transparency of open source, this ecosystem drastically reduces the time to resolution for most failures. 3.4 GUI tools for logging. For users uncomfortable with the terminal, GUI applications like Glog or KDE's Logs utility provide interactive browsing, search, and filtering of log files. These graphical tools present log entries in a familiar windowed environment, enabling both novice and experienced users to pinpoint errors without memorizing commands. 4. Amazing Customization Options 4.1 Desktop Environments and Window Managers Linux distributions separate core functionality, the kernel and system libraries, from the desktop layer. Users can choose from dozens of desktop environments, DEs, including KDE Plasma, Genome, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, and Budgie, each offering distinct aesthetics and workflows. According to recent comparisons, KDE Plasma remains the customization king, allowing fine-grained adjustments to everything from panel placement to window behavior, while GNOME focuses on a streamlined, distraction-free experience. 4.2 Themes, Icons, and Extensions Beyond DE choice, nearly every visual element, icons, cursors, GTK QT themes, and window decorations can be changed with a few clicks. OpenDesktop.org, including sites like Pling.com, GnomeLook.org, and KDE Store, hosts thousands of user-created themes and widgets, making it easy to personalize the look and feel of a system without any licensing restrictions. 4.3 Workflow Tweaks Desktop environments support extensions and shell tweaks, e.g. Genome shell extensions or KDE Plasma widgets, that can introduce novel functionality like tiling window management, dynamic workspaces, system monitors, and more. Experienced users can also swap out the DE entirely in favor of lightweight window managers, such as i3, Sway, or BSPUM, to build a highly optimized keyboard-driven interface. This modularity enables anyone to craft a setup ranging from a minimal, performance-oriented environment to a fully-featured multimedia workstation. 4.4 Kernel and System-Level Tuning Advanced users looking to optimize performance or reduce latency can compile a custom kernel, adjust CPU frequency governors, enable real-time patches, or modify scheduler settings. Distribution-specific tools, like Ubuntu's Tuned, Fedora's Tuned Profiles, or Arch's Linux RT kernel, simplify these tasks by providing predefined configurations that match common hardware profiles. 5. Better Driver Support 5.1 Kernel-Level Hardware Integration Linux kernel versions 6.13 through 6.15 have introduced sweeping updates to driver stacks, drastically improving compatibility with modern hardware. For instance, 
Linux 6.15-RC1 added early-stage NVIDIA GSP firmware support, improved AMD P-State CPU driver, efficiency, and expanded Apple Silicon compatibility through the Asahi Linux project. 5.2 GPU support and proprietary drivers. NVIDIA's proprietary driver continues to evolve, offering near-parity performance with Windows in many gaming and GPU compute workloads. The community's push for better Wayland integration promises smoother video output and lower latency. And recent posts suggest NVIDIA plans to further optimize its drivers for Linux by late 2025 AMD GPUs, supported by the open-source AMD GPU driver, now deliver stable performance across most distributions, with features like FreeSync, working seamlessly under Wayland, and X11 sessions. 5.3 Improved Peripheral and Laptop Hardware Wireless adapters, fingerprint sensors, and integrated webcams are increasingly plug-and-play. Major distributions ship with the necessary firmware packages, e.g. E Linux firmware. While the Linux kernel continues to add support for new Wi-Fi chipsets and touchpad protocols, Although very specialized or extremely new hardware can still require manual driver installation, the vast majority of consumer-grade peripherals work out of the box on mainstream distros like Ubuntu, Fedora, and Zorin OS. 5.4 Virtualization and Emerging Architectures Linux's hardware support extends beyond x86-64. ARM, including 64-bit Cortex-A and Apple M-Series chips, and RISC-V architectures now run fully functional desktop environments, often outperforming equivalent x86 hardware and power efficiency. Virtualization platforms such as KVM, XN, and QEMU offer optimized drivers Vertio that deliver near-native speeds for networking and disk I.O., making Linux the preferred guest OS in many cloud and embedded scenarios. 6. Solid Application and Game Compatibility 6.1 Proton and Steam Play Valve's Proton compatibility layer has been a game-changer for Linux gaming. By translating DirectX calls to Vulkan, Proton allows thousands of Windows titles to run seamlessly on Linux, with minimal configuration. Recent benchmarks show that popular LOA titles like Cyberpunk 2077 and Doom Eternal perform within 5-10% of their Windows native counterparts, when using Proton on a well-tuned system, 6.2 native and cross-platform software. Most major productivity applications have open-source or cross-platform equivalents on Linux. For Office productivity, LibreOffice and OnlyOffice cover 99% of use cases for document editing, spreadsheets, and presentations. Creative professionals can rely on tools like GIMP, K-R-I-T-A, B-L-E-N-D-E-R, and D-A-R-K-T-A-B-L-E, which not only rival but sometimes surpass their proprietary counterparts in stability and plug-in ecosystems. 6.3 Containerized and Web-Based Workflows With the proliferation of containerization platforms, Docker, Podman, and Flatpak slash Snap packages, Linux distributions can run sandboxed versions of applications with all dependencies bundled. This approach simplifies installation, ensures version consistency, and reduces dependency hell. Additionally, web-based services, ranging from office suites to development environments, are fully supported in modern Linux browsers like Firefox and Chromium. 6.4 Professional Tooling Many high-end development environments, e.g. Visual Studio Code via Snap Cheese, Flatpak, JetBrains IDEs, and data science toolchains, Python, R, Jupyter, run natively on Linux with first-class support. Docker and Kubernetes are often developed on Linux first, making it the de facto choice for cloud-native and DevOps workloads. Similarly, virtualization managers, vert manager, genome boxes, and remote desktop tools, Remina, Tiger VNC, integrate seamlessly, enabling complex multi-machine development and testing scenarios is now the right time to switch. Given the strides Linux has made in usability, security, and compatibility, 2025 stands out as one of the most accessible eras for Linux adoption.
for casual users worried about driver hiccups or application availability. Mainstream distros now provide near-perfect hardware support and robust compatibility layers. Gamers can enjoy a substantial library of titles through Proton and native ports, with performance that rivals Windows. For professionals, the open-source tooling ecosystem offers unparalleled flexibility, alongside top-tier IDEs and productivity suites. However, certain niche use cases still favor proprietary systems. Multiplayer titles depending on kernel-level anti-cheats, e.g. Valorant, Rainbow Six Siege, remain largely inaccessible on Linux. Additionally, industry-standard creative suites, such as Adobe After Effects, lack direct Linux ports, necessitating a Windows license or alternative software with a steeper learning curve. Nonetheless, for most users, these limitations are outweighed by the benefits of stability, privacy, and customization. In sum, if you're comfortable exploring a new ecosystem, Linux in 2025 offers the best balance yet of user-friendliness, performance, and security. Whether you're a seasoned sysadmin, a gamer, 